Hey YouTube, this is Brittany and Baby Xavier and today we're doing our my one month postpartum update and his one month update. <laughs> um, so as far as Xavier's stats, he's had his first immunization which was his uh, hepatitis B. He got that at birth. He goes back on his two month update to get a few more vaccinations. Right now, on the first month, he's supposed to gain about a pound to a pound and a half from his birth weight and about a half an inch to an inch. And he's actually done that. He went from six point six pounds, eight ounces to eight pounds even. Um, and he went from 19 and three quarter inches long to 20 inches long, 20 and a half inches long. So he's on track. He's on target. Um, He's sleeping, let me look at that, he's sleeping longer at night, usually he wakes up around 2 or 3 in the morning for feeding, and he'll sleep from like 3 to 7 a.m., um, which I'm fine with. It's a good 4 to 5 hours for me, and he seems real rested when he wakes up, so I tell him good morning, good morning, he's usually happy, now he's looking all focused at the bookshelf apparently. Um, let's see, for me, I am, let's see, for delivery, when I went in for delivery, I was one, 198 pounds for pregnancy weight. Right now, I'm 178. So, uh, my pre-pregnancy weight initially was 185, so I've actually lost, um, seven pounds of my pre-pregnancy weight as well, so that's really good. So, I'm 178, and it's all before I've been able to, um, to exercise because I don't have my six week checkup until the 29th which is in six days today's the 23rd happy back Friday for everybody so I will be doing a small haul as well so I did go to the premium outlets in Virginia um, and pick up some things but let's see he his hair he lost his hair in the front is coming back now and it's starting to curl up he's still kind of like a little light bright he's um gotten a little darker but not too much he's, as you see he's still um quite a bit lighter than me um when you re he likes to be read to he'll focus on the pages and things when you read to him he'll sit there i talk to him a lot he does his little baby coos and i'll talk to him huh see i talk to you when i remember talk to you oh. yeah and um Right now, he's at drinking four ounces at a feeding. I have him on the infamil fussiness and gas because he has been a little gassy lately. So, uh, which is making him, well, he's not really fussy, but it makes him fussy when he has gas. So, he, um, can you not look like that? He just ate, so he's kind of like, ugh, right now. But, um, huh, 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 that, um, so yeah, he takes about four and a half ounces of feeding. I go through, I don't even know how many wet diapers. He's has a lot of wet diapers. Poopy diapers, not so much. He actually has not pooped for a whole day. And he did one this morning and it was very um, big. It was gross. You see yourself? You see yourself? Um, what else? He's trying to scoot. Like, I'll probably put a video up of him trying to scoot. He gets so frustrated that he's he moves, but when he scoots, his hands get underneath his belly. So like he kind of rolls on, like scoots on top of them, so he can't get them back out to keep going. But then he'll start whining because he's not moving anywhere anymore. So he's scooting, and he's not even he's only a month old. Um, let's see what else he even doing. Yeah, you do that too. Yeah, you want to tell him? I really, I still don't have a um a really big. Okay, you tell him then. Okay, well, I still don't have a really big appetite. Um, I have also been taking B12, vitamin B12 to help with uh, fat burning and um energy, so that's helped me keep weight off as well. But a lot of the weight issue is because I just don't have an appetite. I eat, 
because I have to pump, which is getting better. I'm able to pump. Um, I, my milk has come back, but it's I'm still only doing like an ounce each. I've dropped. I was doing it at before three ounces each breast, so I got like a six ounce feeding. But now I'm back down to one ounce each breast when I pump. So I have to get back up there because you know two ounces is not going to feed this chunk of that. Um, and let's see what else. Oh, he's so strong, like he wants to stand, he always wants to stand up, and his legs are really, really strong, so he'll stand up, he holds his head up, like I'll lay him in his crib, he'll be on his stomach, and he'll hold his head up and look at me through his crib bars, like come get me, or now, and now he flips, he can flip from his um, back to his side, and then if he's on his stomach, he can flip from his um, stomach to his back, like all the way, so. No matter which way I put him to go down to sleep, he'll flip over. So I just kind of lay him on his stomach, and now that he can turn his head um, already, he can control his head, you know, he can turn it. I'm not really worried about him like being face down, but I do watch him quite often because sometimes he'll get stuck. But, so he's doing that. He's moving a little too fast. So everyone's like, he's getting out the way, but there he goes, standing up, trying to push up. But he, uh, Everyone's like, he's getting out the way, and I'm like, for, yeah, for who? I'm not having more babies anytime soon. Um, let's see. There you go, standing. Can you, can you loosen up your legs, sir? Can you loosen your legs? Get down. Get down. Get down. Come on, get down. Let's see. So he likes to stand. He likes to stand. Ugh. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it for his his one month. It's not it's been a, a fast month. It's, I'm surprised he's been here a whole month. It, it still seems to me like a few days ago I just brought him into the hospital. And yesterday it feels like I just gave birth to him. Um, it is getting easier, like with the feedings and the waking up. Um, I'm not needy. I think like the first week, waking up every two hours, I was like grumpy. But now I wake up with him like good morning and. Um, I don't know. I'm just getting used to it. He loves taking baths. He takes a bath every three days um, because he's still little, so they say they're doing bath every day yet. So every two to three days he gets a bath. He loves it. He sits in there, he'll splash and he'll just giggle. He loves being in a bathtub. He loves being naked, actually. That's like he's so happy when he just has a pamper on. Um, I do a lot of skin to skin time with him during the day. Like I'll take his shirt, t t shirt off, and I just have like a bra or something on. And he'll lay up against my skin, and he loves it. He loves skin to skin time. Um, what are you doing, baby? He does not. He's not a big pacifier, baby. He um he takes one kind of like when he goes to sleep. It's kind of like a I don't know, like a soothing thing to him. But most for the most part, he's not a pacifier, baby. He'll spit it out and. You know, say so I don't like the pressure call yeah. Exactly. You tell him. Say so I'm a big boy. I don't like press fire. Right, check him out there. You keep calling him oh. chunky, but he's yes, I know. You're only he's only eight pounds and he's almost he's been here a little a month and what is it, a month and four days he's been here, so yeah, some babies. My friend just had a baby. Her baby was nine pounds, so he's been here a month and he's still smaller than her baby. <laughs> but um, yeah, he's doing good. He's doing good. Um, I think we'll have another video for some of the haul stuff that I did for Black Friday and one of him trying to scoot. It's funny. And um, that's it. Say bye bye. Say bye bye today. Who's that? You, Jay. Say bye bye. Say bye bye. You're not even looking this way. Gotta look this way. Hey. You are focused on that purse. Okay. Okay. That's it. Bye.